For today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this glittery green smoky eye. If you're new to the Makeup Chair channel and you like these type of tutorials, then make sure to click the subscribe button below. And if you're already subscribed, then thank you and welcome back. Now, I already showed you how to create just a basic smoky eye using two eyeshadows, but now we're going to add a few extra steps to make it kind of glittery and fun. So to create this look, you are going to need an eyeshadow primer, some mascara and some falsies, a small pencil brush, I'm using the E01 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. A fluffy brush, I'm using the E20 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. And for eyeshadow, you're going to need a deep green with like a metallic finish. A medium matte shade, this should be about one shade darker than your skin tone or you can use your contour or bronzer. And then a light mint green or a silver. And I'm also going to be applying some glitter. This is by Blank Canvas Cosmetics as well. So we're going to start off with that eyeshadow primer. I've already applied it all over my lids. This is going to give the eyeshadow something to hold on to while creating a blank canvas for us to work on as well. So it's a very important step. We're going to start off with that green shade and what I want to do is I want to really coat the lower part of the lid right by the lashes. In order to do this, I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to press a little bit of the shadow onto the lash line and then use a clean finger to kind of buff and blend this in. Take your time with this. You really want to create a nice base. Alternatively, you could use like a green or a black pencil liner and apply that to start with. However, if you don't have one of those handy, this is a great alternative. So we're basically creating a base. Now it doesn't look like much here, but as we start to apply the shadow, then we're going to end up with something like this and that works out a lot better. So you should end up with something like this and then you're going to take your E01 and I'm going to take that green eyeshadow again. And what we like to do here on the makeup chair is we like to squash the E01 down to create a fan shape and then tap the eyeshadow over the top. And this just gives us a lot of control. So we're taking that green eyeshadow and placing this over the base that we've already applied with the same shadow. And this time it's going to sit really nicely and that shine and that glitter is going to show up a lot more. And you should end up with something that looks like this. Now we want to make sure we fade this shadow out because we can't just have harsh lines. So we're going to take that mid-tone shade, your bronzer, your contour, and take that fluffy brush and start to blend this above the shadow that we've already applied. So into the crease of the eye, a little bit on the lid. If you end up kind of smudging the green, you can always just reapply a little bit more, but just make sure you're very slowly building this up and blending it out. And then I'm going to take that mint green shade. I'm going to tap this on the inner corner of the eye. Now I actually would have preferred if I would used like a silver afterwards. I was thinking about it. I think a silver would work better. But once you've applied a lighter shade to the inner corner, you can then apply a liner on the waterline. This is optional. I actually, again, kind of second guess myself. I should have used a black or even a green, but I ended up using a nude shade, but it's totally up to you what you use. Going back in with that green shade, I'm applying this on the outer corner of the eye and then using my fingertips to kind of blend it in. This just prevents it from getting too low. I want it to be kind of lower on the outer edge and then blending upwards. And now for glitter. This is White Diamonds by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. And all I did was tap this on the inner two thirds, pretty much above and below. 
applied lots of mascara then, lots of lashes, and there you go, a super easy glittery look. Again, make some changes if you like. I actually really think I should have gone for silver and black liner, but there you go, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Remember, be kind to yourself, be careful and gentle with yourself, and I will see you in the next one on Monday. Bye.